think of a gruesome murder that involves family, bloodshed, and theft. Do you think of old men clad in dirty clothes and sporting a long, rustic beard when your mind ponders to an idea of what a murderer would look like? Or is it a sociopath who walks and talks grimly? Hating everything he sees. Well, today's video will challenge all of these notions as we see teenagers brutally murdering and then getting put up in prisons without any tinge of remorse on their faces. Today you're going to see something horrific and terrifying. Stay tuned to our channel, Just Scary, to watch these teenage killers reacting to lifetime prison sentences. Sierra Halseth, a girl of 16, and her boyfriend, Aaron Guerreros of 18, both confessed to the death of Daniel Halseth, who was 45 years old. Daniel, Sierra's father, was discovered in the garage of his house in the northwest part of Las Vegas. After four days of brutal discovery, the adolescent couples were taken into custody in Salt Lake City. Both Sierra and Guerrero were found guilty by District Judge Chiara Jones and received the maximum penalty of life in prison. With one, you're going to be sentenced to 48 to 120 months in the Nevada Department of Corrections. On count two, you're going to be sentenced to life in the Nevada Department of Corrections with the possibility of parole after 20 years has been served, plus a consecutive 24 or 60 months in the Nevada Department of Corrections, but a deadly weapon in hand. The possibility of parole only after 22 years they were sentenced to life in the Nevada Department of Corrections. The couple pleaded guilty, but do you know what cruel crimes they were taken into custody for? It included murder with a deadly weapon, arson, robbery with a deadly weapon, conspiracy to conduct robbery, and four counts of fraudulent use of credit or debit cards. It sounds too much for a 16-year-old, right? Well, not too much when you look at the tapes of convicted murderers being sent to life in prison. You're going to be ordered to pay $2,125 in extradition fees. You're also going to be ordered to pay $5,000 in restitution to victims of crime, and that's going to be ordered jointly and separately with the co defendant On one hand, where Aaron still looked remorseful and worried about his arrest, Sierra looked somewhat bored and not regretful even a bit. After much investigation, the couple was seen recording YouTube videos documenting their lives. The couple was allegedly in love and proclaimed it well on social media. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. After day three. Day three after <laughs> murdering somebody. Whoa! Don't put that on the camera. The next shocking incident we have is that of Peter Chisholm. On October 22nd, 2013, the ninth grader committed an unthinkable act. The teenager, murderer, knew exactly what he was doing and has shown no remorse whatsoever. On that particular day, Colleen Ritzer had asked her student, Philip Chisholm, to stay after school to assist him with schoolwork. However, little did she know that this good deed would become the reason for her tragic and sudden death. Chisholm followed Ritzer to the restroom and assaulted and abused her. Thereafter, he murdered her after robbing her of every possession. Afterwards, he dumped the victim's body into a garbage bin before dragging it behind the school. Chisholm didn't just stop here. What he did next will blow your mind. The teenager killer then went to buy a movie ticket with Richard's credit card. The next day, police found Philip, and to their shock, he still had Colleen's blood on his hands. She brought so much joy into my life. Chisholm, then a ninth grader, was charged with murder, aggravated rape, and armed robbery. Her killer knew exactly what he was doing and has never shown remorse. I hate Colleen's killer and will never forgive him. He was not given any leverage for being in his teen years and trying as an adult. In February 2016, he was given a sentence that required him to spend a minimum of 40 years behind bars. This imposed a mandatory life sentence for the murder of Colleen Ritzer. Philip Chisholm will be 54 when he gets his first chance at freedom. 
Sounds horrific, doesn't it? At first we thought he was either abducted or just gone missing. It did the same to all the people who heard about the sentence and the murder. During the proceedings, the Ritzer family wore pink as a tribute to their young family member's favorite color, who was murdered brutally by a young student. The whole world ahead of us, and to be taken just so tragically, it's awful. Would rehabilitation have been a better option, or an adult charge for a crime committed by an adult? Share your views with us in the comment section below. Also, make sure you like the video and share it with your fellow crime fans. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Just Scary, and watch more videos filled with horror, terror, and lessons to learn. The next case will make you question the innocence of kids that we see. The horrific case of Antonio Barbeau and Nathan Pape is one of the most gruesome murders you will have ever encountered. And when you say use force if needed, was there a discussion about what type of force you might use? Attack, uh, I guess to kill. Antonio was just 13 years old when he, along with his friend Nathan Pape, went to Barbo's great-grandmother's house. The two heavily hit and killed 76-year-old Barbara Olson using a hammer and an axe. They conspired to rob the woman and later used the money to purchase marijuana and pizza. The events that followed, including the old lady being beaten up with a hatchet and continuously attacked, seemed like a horror movie sequence. In court, during the hearing, Barbeau changed his plea from guilty with mental illness to no contest. We got in, and then I looked to Nate and nodded and shook my head as in yes or no. He nodded, and then I took the first swing. Okay. The media and the court prosecutor were shocked to see a 10-year-old facing life in prison. Nathan Pape was charged with the verdict of spending the rest of his life behind bars. He brings up that he could kill his grandma. Did you think he was serious? No. On one hand, there were people questioning the verdict because the criminal was only 10. But that was the situation Antonio had put everyone into. He was only 10 years old and had murdered a 76-year-old, robbed and bought marijuana with stolen money. What do you think could have been a better punishment for these two teenage convicts? Why did you do that? Why did you walk over there and hit her? I was scared. Why were you scared? Um, that if I don't do what Antonio says that he might try something on me. Conrad Schaefer was sentenced to consecutive life terms in prison three years after he and his friends terrorized Osceola County with random shootings. This 15-year-old teenager was the youngest trigger man who resulted in the deaths of Tunis bystanders. I request my grandson. He was my helper to me and my wife. Schaefer somehow successfully persuaded his father to purchase a 45 caliber high point carbine as well as 100 rounds of ammunition. He then allegedly waited until his father fell asleep. He went in and snuck the gun out of the house. And that's how the neighborhood story of horror and terror began. The gunman's family had no intention to forgive the culprit because of such a heinous and brutal crime. Could you imagine a 15-year-old roaming around the streets with a semi-automatic rifle, shooting and penetrating houses and vehicles of the neighbors about 22 times? The judge said during the verdict that Schaefer would be facing a death sentence if he were just three years older. Purchasing a firearm, the right to purchase a firearm is one thing, but you also have the right to make sure it's secure and kept out of the hands of those that should not have it. However, in his guilty plea, Schaefer offered his condolences to the families of the victims. This case of the youngest trigger men left the neighborhood as well as the city lying awake in horror the whole night for many days. Surprising because this is a very good neighbor neighborhood and um, I love where I live. It's just very calm and everybody is very friendly. Matthew Borges, an 18-year-old boy, was accused of beheading Lee Villoria Paulino. In December 2016, the judge reached a decision in the prosecution of this cruel murder. It is ordered by the court that he be punished by confinement for a term of life. Borges allegedly murdered a fellow student at Lawrence High School while both of them studied there together. 
The accused informed the police that he and Paulino smoked marijuana together in November 2016. The last time the victim was seen alive, a dog walker on the banks of the Merrimack River found Lee's body two weeks later, and the details were grim. According to the dog walker during one of his daily walks, his dog approached and sniffed a particular area. Can you imagine at first glance that the man didn't think of it as a dead body because it had no limbs? And parole eligibility on the theory of deliberate premeditation at 30 years run concurrent. Matthew was charged with first degree murder on the theories of deliberate predetermination and extreme atrocity and cruelty and that this sentence is to be executed upon you in within the precincts of the Massachusetts Correctional Institution at Cedar Junction, and that you stand committed in execution of this sentence. However, during the court hearing, no signs of guilt or remorse were visible on the teen's face. Matthew Borges was sentenced to life imprisonment with the possibility of parole only after 30 years. Shall reflect 948 days credit towards a sentence imposed this day. Watching all these cases, it seemed like these kids were not really kids from the heart, or even humans, so to speak. But what do you think about these young criminals? Were they really remorseful for what they did, or were they remorseful for getting caught? Comment on your views down below. We hope you've clicked the like button by now and shared it with your friends. Don't forget to press the subscribe button and the small notification bell just next to it to stay updated on all the new and brewing scary content next time.